Hello, Lolas and Lolietas. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but um, Phoebe said, it's her turn. She was like, how you gonna be having all them babies up here when I'm the queen of the nursery? Yes, baby. Um, <laughs> um, just in case you guys are wondering, <laughs> I know I don't show her as much. She's more of a personal, personal baby to me, I guess. Um, it tends to be that way sometime after a while, you know, I just kind of let my babies fade in the background because I just love them. And also, you know, sometime, and I know y'all finna say I'm petty and I know y'all gonna make y'all little comments or whatever, but sometime, um, I kind of hold, sometime I'll, I'll get where I don't want to show my babies as much. Like there are some babies that I paint that I never ever show because... You know, the community, we love what we love. And I love to inspire other people to, you know, paint or make a baby similar or whatever and stuff. But some stuff you kind of want to have a little bit to yourself. Like, you don't want it exactly like yours. Like, all the way to the T type thing. And so, sometimes I hold babies back um, because I just don't want every little simple detail copy of that baby. But... Like I said, you know, it is fun when we can have, like, similar babies and, you know, we can all, like, inspire each other. Because let me tell you something about that. I look at videos all the time, right? And there's babies that I I look at and I'm like, oh my god, what, what scope is that? I love this baby. Like, I love everything about it. I love the way the artist painted it. I love the way, I love the sculpt. I love the way that the, the, the skin tone that they chose for that baby. I love the way they did the hair. I love that baby. Like, and if I really, really wanted that baby, if that baby go up for sale, I would buy that baby. But I just me. this is just my personality. I never get to a point where I'm like, I'm going to make my baby exactly like this baby. I'll be like, oh, I can't wait to paint that baby or I can't wait to get that baby I want to see it I wonder what it'll look like this way you know with you know similar maybe maybe the similar skin tone but a little this a little that so I think we all kind of want something rather we admit it or not we want our babies to be unique in some type of way because none of us would have the same identical child okay so call it petty as you want but a lot of y'all are just as petty as me deep down. You just don't want, you don't say it out loud. And I'm going to say it out loud. I don't want a replica of my baby. Like, floating around. That's just me. And that's okay. Okay? Okay. Anyway, that wasn't even a topic of the sil Looking at the topic of the silicone. That wasn't even a topic of the video. The topic of the video was talking about soft silicone. <laughs> that's... Say that's what we were supposed to be talking about, mama. That's what we were supposed to be talking about. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> and also, I wanted to um, ask, answer the question. Like, some people ask me, like, you know, do I still love Phoebe as much as I used to, or have I gotten tired of her, or whatever? I absolutely love Phoebe just as if the first day I got her. Every time I look at her, every time I pick her up, my whole heart just wells um now uh, the truth of the matter is i'll be first to say um i do think that her painting is not as good as the finn baby i think finn i think finn my luca painting is three times better than phoebe's painting y'all don't don't come at me <laughs> um face wise i think they they rate the same body wise body paint um i think I did a good job on her, but you know, she's, she's, she's still gorgeous, but I think that of course, you know, if you paint for a while and you know where you went wrong or not went wrong or something you would like to improve, the next baby is definitely going to improve if you can, you know what I mean? And so that's, that's just the reality of the situation. Finn is, um, definitely, uh, more uh detailed more modeled there's just so much going on with him in person better than uh phoebe overall as far as his painting 
sculpting wise I this sculpt is definitely going to be rated higher in my opinion because of the proportions and just you know the whole the flow of the baby but together if I had to rate both Luca and Phoebe in my opinion they both would be like overall if I'm rating painting emotions um she's gonna rate a little higher because of emotions but so I would say she is a eight no yeah I would say she would be an eight and Finn would be a seven and a half <laughs> or maybe a seven a seven but I don't know but I love them both and I love I just love I love how squishy she is like I said you know the soft silicone is amazing I love it I love it <laughs> I love it <laughs> um but I'm gonna talk I wanted to talk about the soft silicone a little bit and I know I kind of went into it in the last video, but I really want to talk about it a little bit more. Now, one thing I want to say is that a lot of people are asking, shh, don't listen to the people. Um, a lot of people like to say that, um, that the soft silicone is harder to paint. Um, if that's going to make me make more money, I'm going to go with yes. But if you just want to ask me my honest opinion, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say sil paint silicone, soft, hard, in between is complex anyway. In any measure, it's all the same. You got to be careful. You got to take your time. It's, it, it depends on the pour. There's so many different variables that play a part in that that just don't base off if it's soft or not. The softness, I don't know. I don't think that it's it affects the way that I paint um but that's just my opinion and I'm just one person um and like I said before you know soft silicone to me allows the baby to move more fluidly without force and what happens when you force silicone <laughs> look you see her little armpits like this Look at this little child. Look at those armpits. <laughs> Soft silicone. And what happens when you try to move a baby with force, okay? That is um not that is not soft. The silicone barely wants to move. So you're like forcing it. You're trying to force it. And when you're trying to force it, you get a little oopsie tear. Or, I mean, you can tear. And silicone is pretty durable, soft, or firm. But there are certain points, like under the arms, in the joints, you know, type thing. You know, the mouth and all that and stuff that is more susceptible to a tear. And that's because... Usually, people are trying to force it into a particular position. Whereas in soft silicone, it's so flexible. Whatever position you're trying to go and put it in, it pretty much moves and flow into that. Which eliminates the myth or story or fear that people are putting in everybody that soft silicone is more likely to tear. The other thing is, and I, I love this one. Oh my God, this soft silicone feels like it has no bones. It's like a boneless baby. I don't know if you guys picked up a real baby lately, but they are pretty soft and they are very soft. Now, I don't know about you guys, but picking up a little solid brick and calling it Tommy, it just don't work for me. I mean, it's like, that's not realistic either. I mean, it's like the baby has... Never mind. It's just too hard. I just don't want a firm, rock-hard baby. Like, you can't tell me that feel real either because, come on. So the baby tummy ain't going to even have no squish to it. It's just going to be like... 
girl sit down somewhere make it make sense like okay so yeah uh, in between a nice in between would definitely definitely make sense okay I, I can feel you on that it's kind of like in between you know the marshmallow soft as some people calling it and the um ecoflex 20 and the soup the super soft so okay so marshmallow soft super soft an Ecoflex 20 or an Ecoflex 10, let's say, because people be talking about 10, child, and they 10 be feeling like 20. But anyway, let's um let's say those three. So the middle one would probably be more of the in between for a lot of people. But girl, give me the softest off, child. Let me get the bummy yum gum gum. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I don't want it where it's just like falling into putty. I mean, I don't. Okay, I'll, I'll say that. There is a, a certain part where I'd be like, okay, you went too, too soft. You know what I mean? But I don't know. It take a bit before you get to that part, right? Um, but yeah, I, I just, you know, I just wanted to answer that question. Do I find it harder to paint the softer silicone? Um, and then here's, here's the other scenario, regardless of what we say and what myth we put out there, people go for the popular in this community. Most people, they want what's in demand. And if you go running and buying Equiflex 20, 30 in full body kits, you, you, you gonna be the only one really wanting. Not too many people gonna want to buy it versus a soft silicone but it will sell and i will be the first to say that i will i will buy equiflex 20 still today um if it's a particular scope that i really like and that i can't get it any other way and especially if it's an older baby and i can't get it and it's a one of you know like Almost like a one of a kind. Like Puck was Eagle Flex 20. I would buy him back. Like if I had the money. And the mommy was going to sell him. I would buy Puck back. Why? Because I love Puck. Why? Because he's just unique in his own way. So even though he's Eagle Flex 20. And have a jointed um, head. I would still buy Puck back. Like I would still take him. Just like the jointed head thing. I would still buy a baby with a jointed neck head head join it head if as long as it's a certain kind of joint head some joint heads just look like they just so detached look like somebody like slit the throat I, I can't say that that's not proper it just look you know just like a hat sitting on the baby body i don't i don't particularly like that um i did have a baby in my collection i won't say who it is but I did have a baby in my collection that I absolutely loved the pieces, but I did not absolutely did not like the way that the head sat on the body. Um, I did not. I just did not. I did not. And at the end of the day, deep down, that's probably the main reason why I went ahead and sold that baby. Um, you know, there was times where I felt like I should have kept it, but... Um, I still think the baby is beautiful and all that great jazz, but at the end of the day, that hat head was not working for me. So, you know, we all have our personal preferences and stuff like that, but all I'm going to say to you guys that's out there on this serious silicone baby haunt is follow your gut instinct. You can listen, listen, open mind, minded, do your research. It's very hard. No matter how much research you do, if you never held or felt a silicone baby or seen these babies in person, rather it's doll shows, doll meetups and stuff like that to really decide on what is best for you. A lot of, of, of us are just going to have to buy it and we're going to crash and burn first before we figure out what really is. A lot of times we think something is better because it looked better on camera and then it's not. So... Silicone is not for everybody, first of all. Some people get silicone and realize that, mm, mm this ain't it. I prefer my reborns. 
And some people get it, love it, and say, I don't never want to buy another Reborn a day in my life. And then some people will be like, okay, I still like both. Um, I personally love both, but I think that we, you know, we are inspired and we are influenced by what we see. Um, you know, that's why people have commercials. You got content creators like myself that have babies on display 24-7 and y'all be like, ooh, I like it. But it's like people be like, like some of my, you know, closest friends in the community be like, I don't care what you say, Phoebe is better than Luca, but they don't see the baby in person. And it's not that I don't, I don't hide nothing on camera from y'all or nothing like that. I just know what I know. I know what I like. And I know that Luca is more detailed. In person, you can see all his veining and his modeling and shading and all that stuff. And she is veined. And she does. She did have more modeling until I went back on her. But anyway, that's a whole other story. You know, we already done went over that a thousand times. We not going to keep talking about you, Wisby Poo Poo. But her coloring is pretty and everything. So she, she's still a nice baby. But what I'm saying is, the point is, is that unless you see these babies in person, a lot of times you can't make a really fully informed opinion or decision. So we gonna kind of blindly to a certain degree buy these babies. So we gonna, even myself, I'm gonna buy a baby and say eventually some of them I'll be like, what the, you know? Or some of them I'll be like, Eh. Or be like, oh my god, I got it, I won, I got the, I hit the jackpot. So time I be like, oh, this artist don't know what she got going on. She got skills. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell her though, cause her price is gonna go. Shoop. <laughs> so you know, it is what it is. But just follow your gut. Go with what you can afford. What's in your price bracket? Bracket? Did I say bracket or bracket? Price bracket and. You know, do what it do. Just just know that if you don't like it, put it up for sale. Don't hold on to it because someone so said it was cute and everybody says it's cute and you know you don't like it. Put it up for sale and get you what you want, girl. Trade that car in. But anyway, yeah, I promote selling. <laughs> but anyway, um, we'll talk to you later. Now, you happy, poo poo? You had your turn. Who had what turn? <laughs> That's what my mama do to her every time she says she, she wish I knows. Oh, all right, later.